Um, I got a request, you know what I mean, from you know one of my fans, and what they wanted me to, to speak on was Occupy, uh, Wall Street, you know, the rally, inflation, and Occupy Richmond. I start with Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Um, you know, whenever you have, uh, you know, people of all races. See, it's cool once when it, when it's just black people or just Hispanic people or just any kind of one race going through something is cool. However, when it's uh, um, a issue that's non-racial, uh, meaning that you know all races are being affected by this 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 uh, um, these decisions, uh, decision-making process. Um, I mean, you can get people to, to revolt, you know, especially when it comes to something like money. And Occupy Wall Street are pe people basically saying, look, man, we're tired of big banks uh, getting all the money. You know what I mean? We're tired of them getting all the tax breaks. We're tired of struggling where everything goes up. It's hard to get loans. Uh, milk goes up. Gas goes up. Everything is going up with wages. And so people are starting to revolt uh, like a revolution, like... Uh, back in the American Revolution, um, you know, it's just come to a time, a point in the time in life where people have built up all their lives to get so much, and they losing it so quick. Um, and in the, the end, probably will be revolution. However, one thing people need to know about people with money, um, and people, the people with money are the people who force or enforce policy and procedure and laws and one thing you need to know or people should know is this uh, they thought about this long before uh, people were starting to revolt they they put that into this equation when they started this monetary system um, you know a guy I had on there today you know and I knew it you know the federal banking system started in 1913 by six families you know the federal uh, Reserve Bank was not started by the government. It was actually started by the Board of Governors, you know, by like the Andrew Carnegie's and those type of people. Um, and inflation, inflation is just what it is, man. When, when money gets low, things go up. You know what I'm saying? Supply and demand, you know. Uh, when people don't want cars, they get cheap. When people need them, they get high. And Occupy Richmond, Occupy Richmond is basically a spinoff of Occupy Wall Street. However, um, the people will never win. This, this, this economy, this, this, this country was designed for a few to get rich off the many poor. You know, uh, it, it wasn't designed for people to do well. Most people will do bad. You know, that's how. You know, most people don't know this, but that's how people got sick days, and, uh, days off, and um, vacation time, time and a half. That was all due to uh, organized labor or unions you know they took they they, they provided a big impact uh in working society because you know they just had an article in the richmond times especially the other day how i forgot how much it was but ceos are in in these down economic times ceos are making way vastly more than the average employer i mean employee and um it's gonna get worse you know, it's, it's going to get worse. So, you know, shout out to my homeboy, uh, TK Sports out there. You know what I mean? You asked me to, uh, you know, um, speak on this, and that's what I did, bro. You know, um, hey, man, if you ever want to ask me anything, you want me to make a video, you know, ask me my opinion on something, hey, shoot it to me and um, inbox me, and I'll probably do it. Ones that are done. Y'all stay blessed. And I'm going to tell you something. Unless you're really, really financially set, it's easier to go out here and create income instead of wasting gas going down there picking it. That shit is going to do nothing. Two things you're not going to be. You're not going to beat the people with all the money, and you're definitely not going to beat government.